Hello and welcome to The Storyboard Show. I'm Ian Thompson. And I'm John Gilbert. And this is The Storyboard Show where we like to hear um, your true stories and then unpick them to identify the valuable lessons we can learn about business. It's always a lesson for business. Always a lesson. Uh, we are Storyboard Media and we produce this show every week. We're going to be having guests on, um, but this week we've got John. Sorry. Short straw viewers. I really built that up badly. I know you did. Yeah. Okay. Can, can you could you see the excitement in Ian's voice? This week we've got I don't know, just John. I thought I was gonna go on and then my sentence just stopped and I didn't know what to do about it. Yeah, the man that was available because I work from the building anyway. <laughs> so there we go. Uh, first of all though, John, um we always like to have a quick chat. Last week we spoke about storyboard media and how it started and mm -hmm. things like that. Uh, this week, what have you been up to? You, do, do you just want to just let people know, because I did it last week, do you want to let people know like really quickly your background and how you got involved in Storyville Media because you're interesting in that you own two companies? I do. I do. Two companies. <laughs> Tell us about that. I know, how fancy. Um, so for, for me, um, well, I'll say very briefly, I always wanted to get into writing in media. Yep. I was persuaded that there was no jobs. Um, so I went down the business and marketing route and I worked in engineering, then was made redundant, started a company at the age of 23, which I've now run for the past 16 years. And we've been working in marketing, but we started getting more and more involved in media. I had a lot of storytelling things, which drew back to what I was always interested in as a kid. I used to write in my spare time. I've written Brilliant. novels that people have never read and things like that as well. And that was just for fun. And now I get paid to do it. And obviously that's how we met because we collaborated more and more on a lot of more narrative based yeah. projects and then we said we need to get really good at this and we need to put our heads together because I can see there's lots of opportunities for businesses to do more and more with this to create interesting content. Because we, we met like almost telling stories didn't we? We were just discussing this. We met as part of the whole Well we comic. actually we couldn't remember how we met. No we couldn't. <laughs> I, I, I made something up it turned out but it, but it turns out we actually met um, during the whole comedy festival. We did, yeah. we did um, and whole comedy festival itself was one of those like whimsical decisions that I've made in my life that doesn't really make sense when I think back on it. I was walking through Hull City Centre talking to a man who was then the city centre manager about why isn't there much going on in the evening in Hull? And it's like, well, there's the odd gig every now and again. I said, there's not much live comedy. And he went, no, there isn't. And I went, let's do a comedy festival. And then and within about was. two weeks, I was on BBC Look yeah. North announcing... Within, within two, three weeks, then we'd written a song for you. Yeah, we'll, that's true we'll put, actually. We'll have to put yeah. the song up. Oh yeah, it was I mean, a fantastic for, for song. The, the, well, that was the second year. Oh, was we, it? we ran oh, a yeah. competition. We ran a, an, an, uh, an X Factor style competition. A whole comedy festival song. Just to have a, an anthem. Yeah, and, and boy, you won. An anthem. won. We did. Yeah. We did. Yeah, God, yeah, yeah. we have probably got more stories than, than yeah. I, I remember as well. Yeah, so, yeah. But yeah, but that for me was, I'd not worked within comedy as an industry, so it was something that I've, I was interested in. Um, and it was like, well, let's just do this. And it was quite a leap of faith, really, to go from never having promoted a comedy gig to before to putting 45 on in a two-week period. But it was successful. And, yeah, it was. It was. It still runs now. I mean, that was in 2007 that we ran the first one. And here we are in 2019, year 12, so we've had... 12, 13 comedy festivals. So John, do you want to tell us what you've been up to this week? So this week I've been, well we've been evaluating campaign, oh I went to a meeting yesterday in Leeds to talk about a new project that we're going to be working on which is very exciting for us for Public Health England. Nice. So we've got, we're going to be piloting something across the north over the next 12 months and then that if that's successful, that becomes the national campaign as well. So yeah, that's it's pretty exciting. cool. We don't yeah. we don't do that every day. Yeah, yeah, so nice. It's, it is nice. And it, what was really good feedback was, it's a client we've not met before who who knew of our work and said, oh yeah, we've seen your stuff over the years. It's really nice to actually finally get to work together as well. Because you never know who's notices yeah. your stuff really. You just you get your head down and you work really really hard as well. So yeah, it's a good opportunity for us. You can't tell us more about that now, but you will be able to in the future. Yeah, certainly. When we when we know what we're doing, it's something that I will probably bang on about most weeks. <laughs> Excellent. And that's through Eskimo Super Twelve. That's right. Yes. Excellent. However, I mean there will be a filmmaking element to this as well, so it will be relevant for the content of this show. There we go, and I've just won some business. Um, so, John, then, um, now, you, are, like, like we said, we're going to get a guest in each week, and that we want them to tell us a story. Um, now, I have something written down here. I know a lot of your stories, we've spoke a lot, and um, <laughs> this is a story that I don't think I particularly know of yours. Okay. You have a story for us, don't you? Yeah, well, it, relating to the comedy festival, really. Oh, it right, was only cool. in thinking about how we'd met and 
collaborated uh, to, to get you put a show on, which I did, which I didn't go and see actually because I can't, it was, I can't actually remember our first comedy festival so you, show. So I imagine it was your, awful in your comedy group, the live naked idiots that they were called. And um, no, I don't think it was. was I mean, not, and also you're still going, we're still, still going, going strong now, yeah, today. But we have well, got so. better. I can yeah. only think that back then it wasn't great. Yeah, I didn't go because you were on the opening night. Yeah, and you were up against Russell Howard. Yeah, which was the second show I ever promoted uh, and put on as well. So I do like to kind of jump in yeah. quite at the deep end on that. But what I was going to talk about was the first one that I ever did.